Israeli stand, ladies and gentlemen, determines whether or not Africa will mean anything for your business growth. By the way, it's not a choice you have. If you want to be relevant and remain profitable and sustainable financially, the rest of the continent is the only place you can ever do that. This continues to be one of the premier uh, B2B events in Southern Africa in the hospitality industry. It's my first one. I've never been to ECA before. Um, very interesting uh, to uh, learn about the, uh, uh, the different finance aspects uh, about Africa. And uh, that to me is the biggest, the biggest learning curve of Africa. As always, one of the most, thing, you know, most important things you get is the networking. So it's meeting a lot of people, a lot of people I know, a lot of new people that I haven't met before. Maybe not so new to the industry, but interesting people we haven't met before. Some of the sessions have been fantastic. Um, I've probably enjoyed my own. I've enjoyed doing the research and putting the presentations together and, and um, just thinking through those issues, ready to present them to the audience. I'm very happy to see the uh, amount of uh, fully integrated uh, hotel industry executives and investors uh, attending here. So my takeaway is that uh, South Africa and Africa is going to be on the up and up in terms of building more, more hotel rooms uh, around the continent. Three things that I've picked up from this. Uh, number one is obviously warming up the relationships that uh, we haven't seen for quite a while. You know, Number two is creating new leads. And of course, number three is just the whole experience of uh, being um, in a place where all major hoteliers, uh, researchers, consultants, and of course government officials uh, in one place and it just showcases how important the uh, hospitality and tourism is uh, not only to this province as our host but throughout um, the region it really uh, has encapsulated um, the focus of this year which is um, a growth uh, focus on growth in Africa in terms of tourism so it's been fantastic for me and what's your biggest takeaway from 2013 I think our last speaker, but maybe it's the last one has the most impact, yeah. had a great message for us in terms of how to do business in Africa. And I think I subscribe to it. I've been to some of those African cities, and if you don't go to Africa, and my husband's like that, you know, he gets really, he's gone to Ghana once, and he raves about Ghana forever. Mm. But when I go to the DRC, or I go to Mozambique, or I go to these other places, he's, you know, or even Mauritius, and he goes, are you really sure you're going there, and it's going to be safe, and whatever? And um, we need to just embrace Africa and become part of Africa. And I think that was what he was telling us. We don't need to be different. We need to be part of and get there and understand it. That was a good message. How does Winchester Mansions go to Africa? That is one thing which one has to look at. But Africa being the continent that we need to concentrate on, Africa being the continent that um, has got the future that um, not so many people have believed in a few years ago, but it certainly is there. And I think it's something which we'd be very well advised to carry on in imploring and exploring. Has, has Hika been of value to you, 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 you own a single uh, property, you, you don't, uh, you're, not a, you're not a chain hotel? Look, it certainly has broadened my horizon, uh, absolutely. Um, is there much take-home value instantly, immediately? Probably not, but um, you know, the, the horizon has been broadened and uh, we're looking at things differently. Um, for the hotel itself, probably that the African market um, to attract to Cape Town is an important one and is a growing one. Um, because we need to make more use of regional uh, travel. We need to concentrate more on regional travel. I think it's something that we have neglected. Um, and a lot of those uh, um, people with disposable income have gone to London, have gone to Geneva, have gone to Dubai, have gone uh, to all those places. Yet they can come to Cape Town because Cape Town's got a lot to offer to that market as well. The greatest takeaway is um, to know that the industry is on the upswing. Yes, the challenge is to remain, but it's on the upswing and especially cross-border that there's a lot of, um, there are a lot of uh, opportunities uh, where um, the bank, as First National Bank, can also play in. So that to me has actually been very, very good, especially after, um, what, about three years of uh, negative news in the industry. But all of a sudden you see the optimism, you see the hope, you see the excitement of once again that the tourism is actually growing, and the tourism and hospitality is growing. My takeaway is that uh, South Africa and Africa is going to be on the up and up in terms of building more, more hotel rooms uh, around the continent. One of the things I think is our challenge is we should, like our last speaker also said, consider having this event elsewhere in Africa. Because we become a bit too South African because we're sitting in South Africa. And we do need to see Africa from the perspective of other people. Yes, I think I will be here next year. Um, I would like to see um, more case studies into Africa um, where non-group hotels uh, can make a difference, where there are small investment possibilities, where there are um, uh, opportunities uh, um, to exchange, 
to um, exchange views, to exchange experiences with, uh, with similar properties and like-minded people. It's important that there be more uh, public uh, uh, officials here to understand what the opportunities are and to appreciate that this is a very important part of, of the future growth of the continent by having better beds and more of them around the continent. So I think it's important to have more public officials. In terms of topics, I'm the one I was talking on, the future consumer. I think we can do a little bit more on that one, in particular getting to our African future consumers. So let's drop the sort of global where we're going. Let's try and understand our African consumers. If we've got this burgeoning growing middle class in Africa, what are their travel patterns and when will they travel for business and when will they take, you know, start to do an uptake of leisure travel? Well, I, I think that um, that's probably uh, how to more more detail how to, a more um, understanding of specifics about certain aspects of the industry. I think that's very, very important. Uh, I think these are all elements that must come together in a conference like this to, to make sure that people from all around the continent can come and expect to get a great return for the money. Topic wise is obviously to take stock of what has happened um, this year. One thing I loved about this year is that um, uh, it was not only just saying the soft stuff, it was also the hard stuff in terms of the statistics, in terms of uh, how to access funding, in terms of uh, how you assess the deals. I participated in one of the breakaway sessions on also BE funding and you interviewed me on the, um, how the investors are viewing South Africans from the hospitality point of view. And um, all of that has, I mean, if you package it together, that has actually been a very, very good um, session. But next year, we need to now look back to see if those things that we have been discussing this year have actually come to pass. And as well as, let's say, for instance, have we really walked the talk in terms of investing in these new markets um, cross border, you know, on the continent? Lives of great men, lives of great companies and leaders who have come before us and showed us what Africa can do should remind us that the only way we are going to be relevant in time is if we convert the opportunities that Africa has to offer and live our footprint. Let be, let be, let's be striving in the words of Longfellow. Let's be up and going with the heart for any fate. Let us be pursuing. Let us be, let us be going out there and learn to work hard for what is out there on offer and to wait for the results. Because I can promise you, my friends, if you get out of your chair today and go into any African country outside of your own, you will find that waiting will deliver the ultimate, the ultimate dream.